going on guys? Jerk120 here, professional wrestling's only illusionist, escape artist, hypnotist, here to teach you some powerful magic integrated social dynamics. You know, we talk about social dynamics, you hear it a lot, and I try to advertise it. And what does it mean? Social dynamics is trying to teach you guys how to actually become a magician, not just learn magic. So in today, this video, I want to focus on teaching you guys probably the one of, if not like the best, routines you can do at a party. So when you're at a party, you're nervous, you don't know what to do, what, what's, what tricks should you do, what order should you do them in, uh, how can you build an audience, this and that, the other. Well, we're just going to combine two simple tricks that are so powerful and very similar and it's going to be easy, fast, it's going to get people talking, bring people together for the finale. So just a two-part move. It's basically here, then there, followed by the magic kissing card trick. So all you're going to need for this is two duplicate cards, which, by the way, my Kickstarter deck of cards, the Disturb Reality deck of cards, have do duplicate cards in them. There's three days left. Uh, by the way, I will be doing a live stream in two days, the final hour of the Kickstarter. So it will be this upcoming Monday, April 13th. I will be going live, so stay tuned for that. I'll answer questions, talk to you guys, hang out. It will be a great time. But the best magic trick to do at a party. So first thing you're going to do is set up for the magic kissing card trick by taking one of your two duplicate cards and signing it. Put your signature on it. A signature that everyone will be able to see and won't be able to be duplicated theoretically unless it's by you of course so boom Jarek 120 on the jack of diamonds we're going to put that on the bottom well put it on the top of the deck put the clean jack of diamonds on top of that then put the two tens on top of that I just made a critical mistake I realized that the signed Jack of Diamonds actually has to be on top of the clean Jack of Diamonds. So for all intents and purposes, when you are doing this, have the order of your cards be clean Jack, signed Jack, or signed duplicate card, and then your two duplicates on top. We'll have our Sharpie in your pocket because again, this is, you're at a party. You're trying to get people to come together. You're trying to break out of your shell, demonstrate, uh, you know, what makes you unique and special. So maybe you pull out a deck of cards and you're doing just some of this. You're doing some flourishes, perhaps. It's totally up to you as long as you keep those cards in on the top that we need. So you do whatever you need to do. Get flashy with it. Have people see that you are, in fact, whoa, this guy has a deck of cards. He must be a magician of sorts or hopefully you're at the party and you're with amongst friends you whip out a deck of cards and you just have your friend you know do the talking for you whoa you got to show this guy the magic trick you got to show this guy that be courageous guts over fear you're ready to do the magic trick you're going to have your spectator pick a card and in this situation it might be a little scary because we have four cards on the top that we don't want them to take correct well, if you want to do something a little flashy and you're good at the one-handed cut, something simple you can do, just swing over half the cards into your hand. So now all of our four cards are up here. And do a one-handed fan, excuse me, not a one-handed cut, a one-handed fan, have them take from this. And it still looks like they're picking from the entire deck of cards. They don't even know half the deck is over here. And they won't even think twice about it. That's what social dynamics is, the understanding of... Uh, I don't know, psychological aspects of performing this stuff to make friends, win friends and influence people. So, spectator picks a card. We're going to go into our routine of here, then, there. We don't need a sign. Don't break out the Sharpie yet. We're just performing for theoretically one, two, maybe three people. So, boom. You got the five hearts. Trying to shake your nerves out. Do the Marlowe tilt as we've learned, and we've learned here and there before, so I won't go too far into detail. So you do convincer number one, popping the cards out, convincer number two, splitting the deck, putting it into what looks like the middle of the deck, putting it second from the top, 
perform your double lift, their card jumps to the top. Now the story that I like to tell is, okay, so we made your card jump to the top of the deck. Okay, so put your hands out like this, like a table. They'll bring, they'll bring your hands, some part a little bit. And you take their five, have them cover their hands like a sandwich. There you go, perfect. And so what you do, tell them, all right, I'll take the next card down. Now, you know how we made your five jump to the top? They'll, you know, they'll shake their head yes. And their card, so then I like to say, Technically, your five is on top because the deck is underneath your hand, whereas now the ten is the top card, so the top card wants to become the five. So what I'll, then what I'll do is I'll take the double, steal the five, I'll put the deck under their hand and have the ten on top, making the story this card wants to become the five, and it switches with the card in their hand. Boom they freak out. So with their hand covering it and this initial reveal, it's a slow burn, a slow reveal to show what card is in their hand. And when they turn their hand over to look at the 10 and freak out, all you have to do is just very, they'll watch where their eyes are. And you'll just take the top card, bury it into the middle of the deck. So now we have our two jacks on top. Now you have this leverage of Okay, this guy's legit, he performed an awesome trick, I want to see that again. You'll always get, I prom if there's one trick you'll always get, do that again, this is the one to do it. This is the one that you will get it. Do that again. While they're freaking out, everyone else is going to start looking around the room. Whoa, what's going on? Why is this person freaking out? While the person who you're doing it to is freaking out, drop your hand to your side, and on your hip, Turn the top card over like that, just on your thigh. Just drop down, boom, quick move. Just turns the top card over. And then keep it away from their eyes so they don't know that this clean jack of diamonds is face up. They're freaking out, do that again. Okay, 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 how about this? Reach into your pocket and you're gonna pull out a Sharpie. Hopefully more people are starting to gather around. And this is when uh, you'll take the 10 and bury it now you can do the magic kissing card trick without actually kissing the person. You can do it with a guy or a girl, whatever. But now you want to switch up your spectator. Pick a different spectator and that will bring even more people together. So with this card face up, you're going to, and your wrist killed, you're going to push it off, get a pinky break from underneath. Take that same five that we just had swapped out and you'll have this new person sign it. Sign their name. Boom. So they put the signature, five hearts, your signature, only one card in the world like this because no one can duplicate your signature. You're going to turn it over, bend it into quarters, but we're bending our signed Jack of Diamonds. You're going to put this in their mouth so none of the pips are flashing. So that's in their mouth. Going to do another double lift, and you're going to sign the card exactly as you did before. Jerk 120 down the side of the card like that. Let everyone see it. You're going to take the two cards as one, turn them over. Keep it down and angled away from their eyes so you don't flash what the card is. Bend it into quarters. Put this piece in your mouth, making sure not to flash any sides as well. So you have this piece in your mouth, what they believe the five of hearts in their mouth. And you can slip them in your mouth and kiss the person if you are feeling courageous and ballsy and it's that big of a crowd. The kiss makes a big difference. But either way, they will freak out. So you put this entire piece in your mouth, let it happen slow, hold it onto their hands, push it out to reveal. Boom. You have their signed card. They have your signed card. Those are pretty close to identical. So no one's going to suspect anything. And then you can move on to 
performing an entire routine. Uh, but I mean, that's just coming out the gates hot. That is setting the tone for the whole night, doing two back-to-back -back strong effects like that. Make sure you let them keep these cards if they want to. I know they might be, they're gonna be worried that it was in your mouth and gross, blah, blah, blah. But souvenir cards are the best. This is probably the best routine you can do using two duplicate cards. I'm Jarek120. I have a Kickstarter going on right now. There's only three days left. The deck has been fully funded. I made two decks of cards, the Alpha Kappa deck and the CXX deck. Both mean 120. One's in Greek numerology. The other is in Roman numerals. Alpha Kappa, CXX. So, hop over to Kickstarter, check the links in the description or the annotations in this video, the cards, new cards, and come back in two days. We're gonna be doing a live kind of countdown until there's no more time left in the Kickstarter project. The project has been fully funded, so guaranteed if you back this project, you will be getting what you ordered. And if you back it today, if you get a deck of cards today or in the next three days, you will certainly get your Disturb Reality deck of playing cards. Check me out on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, Saturday nights on YouTube America. Check in your local listings or go to hollywoodwrestling.com if you want to see me wrestle on TV. Be inspired to learn, aspire to disturb, and always rise above. No!